Here we Michael go. Michael out of Utah. Sideways beds. This is like a lay in bed and watch us go. Probably. Park Valle. And then. Let's take a look. Everybody has their own. Bahamas. And the buildings are pink and green. If you're on board, eat there all the time if you can. I mean, you can go this way. You just move the camera. It's and charging. It. Starting, I mean. Hello. Mom, is that truck fed up? Yes. Okay. Where else are you going to find out? Hello, mother. I'm recording you. Me? You. <laughs> I'm not going on this trip. But I'm the airport. recording you. I'm part of your adventure this time. You're going emotionally. That's right. Are you going to be the filmographer for this trip? No. Nope. I did it for Cabo. That's because you're good at it. Oh yeah, look at all the great footage we got. We got great footage. Yeah, my, my YouTube video has 3,000 views, Mom. YouTube. So uh... for beginner status. An hour late after takeoff. Food. Is it the Moroccan chicken or the grain bowl? Yeah, the grain bowl. The grain bowl. We got the fruit and cheese platter. Whoa, Jason, look at that fist. Oh, wow. That's cool. Bright and sparkly, huh? Bright and sparkly. Okay, where are we today? Um, we're at Sawgrass Meals in Florida. Whoa, look at that dress. Oh, that's nice, huh? All right, keep going. No, no window shopping. Come on, let's go. We got things we got to do today. Are you having fun? Yeah, I'm looking at That sounds good. All right, Seasons 52 Fresh Grow Wine Bar. They're what? Yeah, their winter menu. And then we look at all the people too. Kind of a cool vibe. The Golden Garden Beef Salad. Mm. They split it in two, huh? Yum. And now we can stare at it. Because we don't have forks. I mean, I could just stick my face in no, it. No, you should do that. I think it's the wood grilled beef tenderloin. It looks good though, doesn't it? It does look good. And what'd you get? The vegetable gnocchi. Looks good, all right. Let's dive in. You make a decision. I like peanut butter, raspberry, and chocolate, so that's pretty much all of them. I really like the peanut butter as well. <laughs> oh man. If you really like chocolate, all the chocolate's the way to go. Yeah. All right, through security protocols. Getting on to the Celebrity Millennium. Yeah, lots, of lots of sparkles. They said it's a, a, a 2,500 crew or passenger capacity. And we're at 340 people on the ship. <laughs> Which means like one out of every four rooms is gonna be empty. Correct. I'm gonna be telling them I want a stateroom. Yeah. Be like, yo, give me that stateroom. I'll pay a couple hundred extra. Bit. Would you be down? Sure. We'll give it a shot. YOLO ROLO CELEBRITY MILLENNIUM Uh huh Gots to be the sparkles baby It is kind of hard to breathe though 
Well, I'll trade to the black one when we get on. Okay, yeah, I'm putting this away. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're in room 121 on deck six. It's a sky class suite. So as you come in, straight view to the outside there. Got the robe, the slippers, the umbrella, places to hang all of your clothes. And here we have the other things, the beach essentials, and then the uh, safe, obviously, to the right. Got a nice step up, big, big sink, nice window. Nice taller shower with a bathtub. I'm looking forward to that actually. It's pretty spacious, got a little window there too. So that's awesome. Plenty of space on the toilet, which I love. And then a little spot for extra stuff. So if I close this door, there's actually quite a bit of space in here. You don't feel like you're just jammed into a, uh, jammed into a uh, little closet there. So, little coffee bar. Got some plants, some shrubberies. We have a makeup vanity here. Spots to charge your phones. Here's the bed right here. I love that it looks outside. You know, normally they have those sideways beds. This is I can lay in bed and watch us go. We've got a TV. We also have a nice sitting couch here, lounge couch for the evening time. And then they've provided us we don't drink, but they provided us with some um, classic wine. And we've got our concierge people's numbers right here. Evian water. Got a nice mini bar underneath there for all your mini bar needs. Extra storage down there. And then if you come out here onto the deck, it's quite an, a nice oversized deck out here. We've got Sadie. Hello. And then we've got some more seats here. Nice deck. Get my Mimo in. Mimo. On our way to the Bahamas. Uh oh, our door's opening next door. I know. Wow, wow. This video thing. The video thing. Bye. And that's it. If I do another slow pan this way, this was a $300 room. And then when I got on board, I went and I upgraded for $300 more. So $600 a person for a Sky Class suite in the off season. I don't think we're going to be able to beat that. So as part of the Sky Class Suites, we get to eat at Lumine on deck four. Kind of cool. This will be our appetizers <laughs> before we sail. So we're gonna have ourselves a nice little dinner. Looks pretty nice. They're gonna put us up at the window. So we'll see how it goes. You're on the ocean, bro. We're on the ocean, bro. On the ocean, bro. So, we're in Lumine. Got our same menu from outside. They've got a seat next to the window. Man, I'm getting excited for this. This is going to be a fun experience. Yeah. It'll be just the right amount of time. It won't be too long. Totally. I yeah. always get fancy when it's just slightly too long. Three nights, four days. Yeah. Boom, boom. Right? Like, yep. Yeah. Four, yeah. When if we didn't have a lot to do, it would be different. And we didn't have a baby. If we were like 60 and retired, I could probably do this for weeks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, totally, Actually, right? You're right. Yeah. Like, I love this. Okay, turn it off. Here it comes. Oh, yeah. Oh, and she's gone. <laughs> oh, there's more. One, two, three. Signing off on the celebrity moment. <laughs> Oh, the butternut squash farfalle. There we go. The farfalle. Okay. Farfalle. And then I got the New York frites. Fritas? Mm -hmm. I don't know. We're not fancy. It's just... We're not fancy people. Sorry. If you wanted fancy people, go watch someone else. <laughs> Ooh, the Bernays sauce. Oh, yes. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Thanks, Edwin. So one thing I like already is when you're getting in their elevators, push 10. Okay. When you're getting in their elevators, did you push 10? I did. They're all windowed. That's creepy. That's oh so God. cool. I can't look. What do you mean you can't look? This is way better than being stuck on the inside. No. Deck 10, okay, we're out. Don't be a baby, it's fine. 
That's so cool. All right, to the spa. So we just came from the retreat. I'll have to film it later, the sun deck for the sweet class members. Super nice, very private. But we're watching this fool get busted by the Coast Guard. Woo hoo, getting busted by the Coast Guard. That's the sound of the Coast Guard. That's the sound of the Coast Guard. This is the solarium in here. Pretty cool, inside. Inside, hot tub, pool. I really like that. They're just escorting them, my butt. Someone's getting busted. They're like, pull into our dock, bro. We're gonna check your ship out. That's what you get when you run drugs in Florida. All right, that's it. Figure it out with Zach. Here we my go. mortgage lender out of Utah. He's the one that did Shane's loan. I'm just gonna we call him and by him and just say, hey, we are moving. There's the Coast Guard. Bye, Coast Guard. Oh, look, and Celebrity Princess is all the way out there. So we're going this direction, swinging the, hooking a right, hauling that boat, and then out to sea. To see what we can see, see, see. Make sure I don't pull it, hold this over. I might drop it. That would be awkward. Jason would be mad. So I don't want to make him mad. Good day, Fort Lauderdale. Oh yes, this is our room. We've already been comfy and made a big mess. Whoops, just got tripped. Our fluffy velvet couch. Comfy, very comfy. Yeah. Our comfy... I think that's a king size bed. That's what I'm talking about. And then all there's all that. And they brought our suitcase and they're like, we got three huge suitcases. And we're like, well, they lost it originally out of the airlines. So we thought, oh, we're not gonna have anything to wear. So what do we do? Go buy two more suitcases <laughs> and a couple of clothes. We probably would have gone back, but they finally get, got our bags at. Um, um, 11 or uh, okay, 6 so, p.m. ish. Um, so, so, anyways, mine's like bright yellow, immediate. Jason's I mean, is bright blue, 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 and then our original blue. bags are gray. So, it'll be easy to spot them now. So, that'll be fun. But, it's so far doing good. I took a little nap in the room. Jason went up to the oh, awesome. retreat, is what it's called, I think, and um, it's the for the sweet guests only which is we are the, the yeah, lowest yeah. level sweet guest but you know whatever um you still get all the amenities that you would doesn't matter what sweet class it is and they've got obviously bigger rooms than this no, it's there, it's, but it's, it's there, it was it's, we it's paid 300 dollars originally for the other bed for the other bed bedroom it was a balcony view but it was a lot smaller i guess and then, so of course, what, what do we do when there's only 350-ish people on a 2,500-ish capacity boat? You go and upgrade. So um, they were going to upgrade us to a slightly bigger room um, for free. And Jason was like, um, so what's the next one up? How much did that cost? And that one was $300 a person. And so he said, um, yes, this boat is, or this room is normally like a thousand eleven hundred dollars a week per person and we're at you know six hundred dollars per person on this room which was an awesome deal so you know always go and try and upgrade if you can especially if it's a small cruise like yeah we're gonna be here three nights just one stop but you know it'll still be fun and so far service has been great um it's been a lot of fun i mean everybody's just so nice jason's talking business with his brother on the balcony so that's fun but it's all good recenter it's telling me to recenter what you think jason i think it's awesome that's the first time i've ever fallen asleep by a pool on a cruise ship just because i didn't notice though the, it's all old white people up there. <laughs> like, I didn't see another young couple. I was like, alright, so... You know. <laughs> that's a bummer, but... 
I'd like there to be another couple or two our age so I can give that bottle of shampoo to someone. Because <laughs> the old people would be like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was that one couple in line in front of us that were really chatty. I don't oh, know. if I see them again, I'm going to find out. I'm like, sure. hey, what room number are you guys I'm gonna send you. I'm going to send you some champagne. What room number are you? <laughs> no kidding. They were it's, really funny. I don't know if they need any more alcohol. Cause they definitely need more They <laughs> don't. No, they don't. They're is crazy. This, what is this? I don't know. Blanc de Blancs, white sparkling wine. I think this is champagne. It's gotta be champagne. Celebrity vintage. Who knows? Yeah. I don't know any of this I'm stuff. I'm gonna walk around with this and be like, sir, you need a mask up? I'll be like, not now, bud. I'm in this home. <laughs> You're so annoying. <laughs> don't do that, please. I'm in this home, bud. Oh, we gotta go put our raffle in. I know, that's what I'm saying. I gotta, I gotta shower right. and then we have dinner. Not till 8.30. So we're gonna come back? I don't know. So maybe just take out my... Are you recording? Yeah. Oh, okay. I won't take out my pants now. You think you're so funny. You know I'm recording, you <laughs> dork. You gotta, get the, you gotta get the mic, too. The mic really helps the sound quality if you're talking. It really, really makes a difference. And that's why I bought it. So. So apparently I'm doing it wrong. No, you're not doing it wrong. I have to have the mic. It uh, can't possibly listen to what I'm saying now. I never use the mic either, but it's like, why did we spend money on it if I'm not gonna use it? I don't know, that's your own fault. I have no idea what that is, but that is the fastest moving object I've ever seen in my life. They broke the sound barrier. No, what is that thing doing? Oh, that's so weird. Sadie, what's my phone doing? Go, who's calling? What in the heck? Just we'll just hang it up. That did you see that one? That has like a bright pulsating light from it. Yeah. Wasn't there another one? There was. It was behind the clouds and it stopped midair and it started pulsating. Did you see it pulsating? No. What in the world is that? Look, it's got double lights. What the crap? Was going on there was another one right behind it that stopped and was pulsating. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. This is like some next level X Files nonsense. Oh yeah. We definitely broke the sound barrier. You saw that like big thing going on, right? Wow, that was weird. It's still there. Where is it's it? Behind the cloud. You see it? I mean, I just saw it like for a second. Keep keep this on it real quick. Keep this on it real quick. Don't get the, make sure you don't get the handlebar and the, the thing. Yeah, it's already in. Just keep looking. If it comes back out, tell me. What the? It's going backwards. I'm telling you, that's like some next level military stuff. Yeah, I. what if it was a ship or something? A what? A ship or something. What do you mean a ship? Like a spaceship or a rocket it or something. Be. Because look, that piece is going backwards now. It stopped in the air and it pulsated three times. Psh, psh, psh. Like literally let off a big cloud of something. What the heck? I mean, it could just be maybe jets doing maneuvers, but like I've never seen a fighter jet that has lights that bright. Like, and look how freaking fast. Like, I've, I've seen commercial airliners move. Too many times well, and you can life. still see like the clouds from the when they broke the sound barrier. What do you think? They I don't know if they broke the sound barrier or what the deal was, but like well, these guys are hauling. Like, look how fast that thing is going. Whoa! I don't know if the video camera can pick that guy up, but but can you see it with your naked eye? Oh yeah. That is moving almost the speed of a satellite. Like, oh yeah. Like looking up at the satellites in space. Oh yeah, that if not thing, faster. That thing is freaking flying. Nuts! That was cool. Random. Yeah, like for reference for you, there's like that looks like a commercial airliner. Yeah. Out in the distance. Okay. And look. Oh, I see. He's barely moving over one city. This guy's clearing like super fast. Oh, whoa! The... Look, there it is. Oh wow! You I got bet that? you can see that on the video camera. I bet you can see that. Can you? Yeah, for that sure. That looks like something. You've on got fire to. Now. It kind of does. That's what I'm saying. If it's a some kind of rocket thingy, oh. and now it's just gone. Where'd it go? I don't know. Oh, on a side note, look at the beautiful sunset. <laughs> what would you do if we're sitting here and all of a sudden, like, a missile goes into Fort Lauderdale and it just explodes? Oh, that would be kind of a nightmare. I it would actually like... would be a nightmare. 
I'd be like, um, uh, where's my baby? We gotta get off this ship now. Yeah, we ain't going nowhere. No, we're not. That's a, that's a long way back. Anyways, bye. Okay, bye. And now you're recording again. Hello. We're in the theater now. In the theater. Jason likes how it's laid out. Yes, it's very nice. It's a very nice theater indeed. Let's take a look. Everybody has their own kind of seat thing and table thing. Really nice. I like yeah, that. Yeah, everyone feels fancy. Yeah, you feel fancy. We like feeling fancy. Oh yeah. Oh, where's your face? There's your face. Hello face. Hello face. <laughs> oh, they turned it up. Oh, they just turned it up. See you later, alligator. No, Sadie. You're a target for terrorism. If you bring this sparkly bag. Don't bring your sparkly bag. I'm sure. Sound good? Okay. Let's go check out this beautiful island. The Bahamas. NASA. Okay, let's go do it, huh? Here we go. Why not? Why not? Mm. Breakfast at Lumine. I already started. <laughs> <laughs> with the bacon. Of course with the bacon. Best for first. You've got to start with the bacon, huh? <laughs> this looks good though, doesn't it? Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm. A little tomato. <laughs> Look, we're in the Bahamas. There's our ship. That's a big, huh? I was like, where's that room? <laughs> On the other side of the ship. The freedom of the seas. Oh, that's a big boy. The Norwegian gem. Look at all these ships. Look at all the. Look, this pier is huge. It's a big one, huh? They're not, they are not, they are not messing around. No. Okay. No tug. No tug. <laughs> not there. No, no tug. <laughs> tug, tug. Tug, tug. We saw in NASA in the town square. In the town square. And the buildings are pink and green. Interesting. And they've got these plaques. One's from 1629, this one right here. And the other one is for 1729. All right, King George II. And you got your cannons, just for good measure. And they're building a new entry port thing. It's kind of cool. Jason's having fun. So, yes. Some of the ghettos, so they do a lot of, like I say, a lot of drug running around the island as well. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised the police don't start them in Saisha boats, but that's what they do. This is, this year, this is the university yeah. of Bahamas. Okay. Mm. They just got university status, I would say about six years ago. Okay. Uh, a community college. Yeah. That's crazy. This is just one block over, I tell you, the Bain, the Bain Town Grandstand. That's where we just came okay. one block over. So you said you're surprised the police didn't stop the speedboat? Yeah, because they, they'll stop them and do a, like a routine check to make sure they just ain't come off the water and load and go. Uh, load and go. Yeah, hide marijuana. Dang. Call the cops. Uh, guys, it's probably better to send a text and get a call into the charge like, close to 125. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I think the texting plan is like 10 or 15 bucks a day. When you're ready to leave it down, just text me like in advance. Yep. So you can let me know. See, this came from the store and get the milk. Yeah. That, 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 that milk there is mm. a quart. Yeah. That's probably about $3, $4. Dang. Wow. Notice you have a lot of security cameras around. Surveillance cameras. Like I said, this is high 
high uh, crime areas. Yeah. And they use it to catch the criminals. Is it is it like just a lot of theft or is it like violent crime? No, they get some violent crime. Okay. Get some violent crime. People get shot. But no, no, no. Most people who get in the shoot, yeah. they be the bad boy. Okay. So it's just retaliation after retaliation after retaliation. Like you kill my brother today, yeah. you kill your cousin tomorrow. Okay. You don't find, you don't find much in the city where you kill yeah. Over the last two years, we've been seeing a, a spike in domestic violence. Oh, COVID. Yeah. People staying at home. Yeah. The lady got shot because they were murder suicide. Shot her and then shot himself. Oh. Uh, that was sad. That is sad. Yeah. So my initial thoughts are this island is ghetto, like crazy ghetto. Wow. Is that what you're thinking? Incredible. Like the four? Yeah, that's the funky jeep tours right there. Oh. Yeah. And those that funky jeep tour is like $170. Uh huh. Correct. And then you just ride around all day. So when that guy was like 80 bucks for both of you, I was like, deal. Oh. Because it's like two or three hours and same kind of deal, right? 1829. Why do we always find ourselves with the cannons? I don't know. I that at Mazatlan as well. Because the cannons are just kind of. They are what they are. Yeah, there's Atlantis. There's our boat. Oh, wow. Yeah, they are. That's crazy. Oh, go, watch. <laughs> wow. I will here in a second. This would be a heck of a place to fall, huh? Oh, yeah. It's funny they asphalted the bottom step, he said. Uh-huh. Okay, no, no. Hold on. Walk up there just a little bit. Oh. Walk up there. Say, so you take off your mask for a second and walk up. Go up like 12 steps. Go. I can screenshot it later if I need to. Six hundred yeah. slaves. Sixteen years to hunt wow. Sixteen years. Yeah, it's like one solid rock. No yeah. No coffee break. No, you're in the car too. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Machine work. They say case the four, they ever get a car. Yeah. And so we just get a risk of an underground tunnel. They get down here and go straight over to the harbor. Ah. Uh, right, that's the mound made waterfall. You want to get a picture? Yes. A picture. Thank you. Sixteen years. Six hundred slaves. Hand carved this whole thing. The correctional bus. Crazy. What year is it, Sadie? Um, the fort was erected July 
1742. 1742, Fort Montague. We keep coming to forts. Well, it's because that's the stuff that stayed, yeah. Look how crystal clear this water is. All right, let's walk out to the edge. And not all the way to the light post, but to the edge here. And I'll just, have, and I'll just get a shot. So I guess over there, which is on the same island as Atlantis, this is where all the super rich people have homes. Paradise Island. Oh, is that what it's called? Paradise Island. Paradise Island. This is, that's where the fancy people are. Like Jay-Z, Oprah, yeah, whatever. Michael Jordan. You don't think they all have homes over there? I'm sure. I bet so. I'm sure they've at least partied over there. Yeah. I guess this side is Nassau is a little bit more. I don't know. Rough. It's a little rougher. Like. But look at this. This more makes more sense as a fort to me. Yeah. Right. Because it's like right on the water. Then. Yeah. Like this is what you'd shoot at stuff with. Like, yeah. Let's lob our cannons. There we go. Yeah. Someone's coming in. Shoot some cannons at them. We got our way in to the Atlantis Hotel, which is on Paradise Island. It's connected to NAS NASA. And of course, we forgot our vaccine cards and all that stuff. It's on the app, and our app is not connecting to the internet or anything. And the driver just, you know, pushed his way through. Thank heavens. He's like, we've already been test tested, vaccinated, carded everything especially if you're from the cruise ship right so it's like why do you need to check it again but on a happy note whoops i just hit and i meant to turn the camera around look at that cool sculpture oh hello hello you're in my sculpture oh, video sorry. that's okay i'll forgive you today <laughs> and then of course you got your casino YOLO. There's a yacht out here, and they named it the Second Amendment. How funny is that? Obviously from Florida, and they've got a little fishing boat next to it. Nice. This one's called Patience from Georgetown, and that is called Beachfront. Montego Bay. That is very unique. Glad you named it Beachfront. <laughs> is that one literally called Flag? I think that one's literally called Flag. But we're headed up these stairs to go hang out on that balcony, I think, if we can. Get some drinks or something. Get some something. I need something to drink. I like how he just like, I like how she's like, yeah, you turn around, you're like, yeah, okay. And then he pulls up to the gate and he just looks at her. And he's like, come on, open the gate. <laughs> you like how she opens the gate? I guess. <clears throat> All right, and then around we go. Yep. and stuff like all the ocean vibes look at that bubble light and all those brown lights have octopus on them being held by seahorses no. maybe we'll find somewhere that I can get water Ooh, look at that thing We got some cool sculptures in here. I love their sculptures. <laughs> you doing that? <laughs> so we're on the fancy side, the Paradise Island. Basin's fun meter is just about expired because everything is super expensive. We got Cokes and nine, Cokes. Nine dollars for two of them. It was eight dollars and seventy-five cents. Oh yeah, I, I exaggerate. And it was, you know, just a 
two cans of Cokes. Like, holy moly. So we're on the rich people side, obviously. We got these little condos, townhome thing going on. Yeah. Nice and bright. They look well kept. That's because that's where all your fancy people are with their yachts. Mm -hmm. Like, look at that bad boy. Yeah. Why are y'all wearing masks back then, Grandma, Grandpa? Yeah, that was stupid. And it hasn't gotten any better. Is it Chinese New Year? Must be. I think it's like Chinese New Year. We've got lots of Chinese decorations. That's who owns the Atlantis Chinese, of course. They did a good job with the architecture, though. We've got a lot of cool, just random stuff. Shells, lots of stone pictures. We're at the sushi restaurant. Sushi. And we uh, don't eat sushi. Oh, shoot. but it sounds good. It looks good. No, it's still it's still Asian food. We love Asian. We food. love Asian food. Just because you don't eat sushi, that's like saying I don't eat. Chicken. Where are you so going? To grab a menu so you can look at it. Oh. Well, you hand me this. I'll just walk it over to this. Oh yes, go I'm walk it over to the menu. menu. Hello, gimbal. This is the menu today. Oh, dang it, we got a glare. That's better. And we'll let you know how it tastes. But, opened at 3 p.m. today. Sadie is ready with her chopsticks. <laughs> All right. So, this is a miso soup. Mm hmm. This is mm. uh, miso paste, tofu, and seaweeds with scallions. And hot water is uh, coming with a kunvu inside. Mm. Kunvu is uh, dried seaweeds to make the boat more tasty. That's awesome. And that's just hot water, right? Yes, sir. All you have to do is to mix it up. Just mix it? Yes, All right. Salamat. <laughs> How's yours? Is it? Mm -hmm. Like miso broth kind of. That is your cell phone. That's so sad. Tonight's dinner's gonna be huge, so you better not eat everything, you fatty. <laughs> you gonna you gonna be able to eat at a steakhouse in three hours? I said go light, not eat the whole bowl. This this ramen noodle. Must have been good, huh? Yeah. Okay. This thing is keep you warm. <laughs> We're on the deck. Amen to that. <laughs> and we've got right, yeah. Disney cruise ship next to us. Maybe they'll put their horn off again. again here. I bet so. We're on the helipad. The send off. Oh, there they go. I don't think they're going to do it again. What'd you say? I don't think they're going to do it again. though that they have that that tune yeah of course they would Freedom of the seas right there. to fall in, Jason? No. Not at all. <laughs> it freaks me out. Really? 
Okay, seriously, I was gonna wait for Sadie, but I actually think she's gonna make me inexcusably late, as always. Oh, here she comes. Yep, here she comes. 45 minutes later. And she said, do you want me to be late or do you want me to be cute? That's what she said. Do you want me to be late or cute? How many other men have this problem? Comment below. Thanks for watching. Your mom's annoying. In bed. Ooh. Come on, let's just walk down the stairs. I don't see the, I don't see the problem. Where? Downstairs? Yes, it's downstairs. It's downstairs. Okay. Okay, tonight we're eating at the Tuscan Grill. Good evening. Hello. Welcome here. Oh, Mustafa Kirby. My name is Kirby, and I'll be your waiter for the Okay. Perfect. So, have you been in touch with Kirby before? No. All right. Great, thank you. The house beet salad, thank you. The spaghetti and meatballs, and the burrata with the tomato that's pilled and fried in olive oil or something like that. Something. It's going to be delicious. Well, well, thank you. Hey, Sadie. I just want—I just wanted you to know this wall doesn't sound like it's leaking. <laughs> you think you're so funny. All right, dinner served. I got the nine ounce fillet. What'd you get? Ooh. What you got? No, but what'd you get for your main dish? Chicken. Chicken? What chicken? Chicken. <laughs> Not very helpful. The lemon brick chicken. There lemon brick chicken. <laughs> lemon garlic chicken. Lemon brick. Lemon brick. And then the broccolinis. And then the spinach. Yum. You are not pretending. I told you you would eat some. You said no. no. I ordered you one. And I'll look. Eat it. It's pretend. Yeah, and, and now you're gonna have some <laughs> pistachio creme brulee. Mmm, lemon cello cheesecake. How is it? Is it good? Delicious. Oh yeah. All right, I'm getting in this. Goodbye. We just had massages. That was nice. Jason's mainly happy. I'm more happy than Jason is. Jason's always happy. He's got... Grapefruit gelato. They're calling it melon, but it's 100% so grapefruit. <laughs> but it doesn't taste as bitter as grapefruit. No, they put tons and tons and tons of sugar in it. The good stuff. It's good. Have a seat. Let's go downstairs. You want to watch it up here? I want to be closer. Okay. You want to be closer? Can we be closer? Yes, we can be closer. So, our massage therapist, mine hasn't been working there for 18 years. Wow. She's done it for 18 years, has three ch three girls. Mm -hmm. So I guess we kind of chatted a lot too. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I don't want to move for a minute. These chairs are really comfy. Yeah. I feel like I'm all snuggled in. Good. See, they're nice and comfy. Change, and change they're gonna play us some music here in about five minutes. But we were definitely tempted to go get, you know, massages because <sighs> they gave us these cards, probably in our suite. They gave us, said you can have $50 on a 50 minute something. Did it work? Did it work to get us in the door? Um, yeah, because we had massages. Oh yeah, they suckered us. <laughs> they suckered us. And that's okay, because it was nice. It's like now 9.40ish p.m. So that's how we kind of end our day. Eating some gelato, getting a 
Jason. For Jason anyway, I'm still too full from dinner. Getting a massage. And Jason said there's enough oil on us to light a match and light the whole place on fire. Spontaneously combust. And spontaneously combust. But there's it feels always room nice. to fill the cracks. It's always room to fill the cracks. Words of wisdom from Jason. Thank you so much. vacation. Okay. Yeah, those purses. Are these considered clutches or purses, Sadie? Um, both? Mm. What do you mean clutches? Are you okay? Yeah, because they've got a wrist strap, right? Fashion icon, Sadie. Giving us advice. No. <laughs> just hit play. It's okay. Just give it a second. It takes a minute. He looks like he, he's a little ugly, but he does look like you. So, <laughs> so, You're so dumb. So, how'd you guys spend your vacation? Um, hello. Oh, she cried the whole time and watched videos of baby. <laughs> You were downloading the whole video of him? Yeah. So you can just sit there and cry the whole time? Yeah. It's going faster. It's just so You're okay. You're okay, silly head. Oh my God. <sighs> Poor, terrible mom. 
leaving your beautiful new baby in the freezing blistering cold while you jet off to sunny Caribbean, Caribbean <laughs> Bahamas. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Jason. Video record me. You're fine. This is for posterity. <laughs> He's a <cute>. <laughs> <laughs> And this is how we spent our vacation. Yeah. We'll be home soon. Baby, my heart is definitely a part of 23. Touch of a hand Me, I fall in love with you Every single day I just wanna tell you I am That honey love Take me into your loving arms Kiss me in the light What a thousand Got our retreat lounge for the sweets only. Here's the cool, slightly opaque windows. This is beyond the sweet. Fun, huh? Now we're gonna go inside. There's Jason. How are you feeling tonight? Good. Yeah? You ready to be home? Yeah, this drama meet Patrick makes me really loopy. Really? Mm-hmm. But have you been sick? No. It gives you dry mouth, light, kind of lightheaded sometimes, mm -hmm. and then I just feel sleepier. You're always sleepy though. It's true. So are you sure this is the drama meet Patch? I think so, because I got a good night's sleep last night. Did you? Yeah. Hmm. Last night was really nice for sleeping. Yeah. It's weird when you get like a good night's rest and you're not on electronics, you like wake up at like 7 a.m. just yeah. naturally. Mm -hmm. With the sun. It's super annoying. Yeah. But, you know. Yesterday was a long day. It was all. Which time did we get up? I think it was about 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock, yep. Yep. And we just did like everything we could and today I feel like we kind of took did, more naps. Did we take a nap? Did we take a nap yesterday? I don't think so. We, huh? I don't think we did either. We were just go, 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 going, huh? Yep. One, two. I'm flipping it. One, two. How do you do it three times? One, two, three. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, come back. You should have a smile for it. Smile, say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Okay, bus for dirt. Yum, yum, yum. What is it? Beat root. Oh, so good. Jason then, likes beat. And then show the live music too. How fun is that? How fun. Fun, 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 fun. <laughs>
Rendezvous Lounge. This is the fun. We like this place. They've got a cool band that plays sometimes. We're doing um, 80s music here soon. But so there's only 350 or 60 guests and then just as many um, attendants, you know, um, uh, workers. And there is several of them in here right now. So we've got our DJ, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight attendants in here and there are three of us in here at the moment. Jason just left, so there was four. So it's literally crazy. Like everybody feels like they have their own little spot. And we keep seeing the same people over and over again. And it's fun, especially the sweet. It's a lot of fun, it's been fun. Hopefully you can hear me over the music. Oh, number nine attendant just showed up walking in too. Fun time. 80s trivia. Eighty trivia, Jason and I. We will have fun with this. Yes, we will. It's actually pretty, like one of the fullest spots that we've been to. Let's have a fun. This book holds the rules of every single game in human history. That's right, and we're gonna go and check it out. Games on land, games on water. Dog, dog, goose. Games in cruise lines. Bad cruise lines. Good cruise lines. Oh, best cruise line. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Number one rule for the totally 80s game show, chapter 15, paragraph 5, subtest 2112. In accordance with the leadership of game show rules established in the year 1683 by His Royal Highness the King of Papua New Guinea, in the event that there is an official complaint, the complaint will be fully taken into consideration. <laughs> However, it will not change the course of the game. The book of rules has spoken. <laughs> it's not me, huh? It's the book. It's between this big one machine and that damn book, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna get ready totally for the final round of music. This round, everybody have a chance of helping because it's the pop music of the 80s. Yes, pop music. Love it. Love it. Love it. Are you ready? Perfect. Are you ready? Yes, she's ready. It's the same. It's the same. The same procedure. Yeah, just get the answer. Ready? This is song number uno. She did it though. Ray Parker Jr. <laughs> Captain giving some encouragement to the team. Oh, <laughs> 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 
somebody hitting on my husband <laughs> weird so that's it um if you're thinking about booking a suite i definitely recommend the the sky class suite to start with if you're if you're concerned and i will tell you pro tip um when we got on board initially there just wasn't enough people on the ship though there was like 350 and i think it holds like 2200 passengers so we went down to guest services and they will, if you go and talk to them, they will upgrade you accordingly within your suite class normally. So if you want to upgrade, like for us, I had booked a balcony room initially, and it was $300 a person. And to get into the Sky Class suite, which is I think was two or three rooms above that, was 300 bucks more a person. So, um, so I paid 600 bucks each, whereas the sticker price online a month ago was I think 1100 a person. So. By waiting till I got on the ship, you know, I saved $500 each. However, there's always the risk that you get on the ship and all the suites are filled because it seemed like there was a pretty, there wasn't that many people on the ship, but there was a very long line for people down at guest services when we got on. With only 350 roughly passengers on the ship, the, there had to have been 20 people standing in guest relations trying to upgrade. So people already know that secret and do it. So anyways, best of luck and um, hope you guys enjoy sailing on Celebrity. Thanks. I do like the artwork they put in between each deck. Kind of just makes it fun, right? This is blue. We got to go down one more. Blue, the Aqua Class restaurant. We never ate there because we were fancy enough to go to Lumine, which actually, the food in Lumine is fantastic. If you're on board, eat there all the time if you can. I mean, you can go to specialty restaurants, but it's perfect. So this is Lumine, and it's our final day on the ship. Final morning, and just wanted to shoot some B-roll. The lights normally are going right here. Make it kind of fun. Got really cute seating. These are super comfortable chairs, by the way. When you say, and then my wife, likes the orchids, the live orchids every day. So those are kind of cool. And then they'll bring out the food here in a minute. And um, we'll just show you some of that, some departure day food. Some people like sitting next to the windows. I don't really care. Doesn't bother me either way. Because you can see, but you're not really focused on it. Yeah. Anything you want to say? I like turtles. <laughs> More than 100,000 people are out of power. Okay, we're at the Hyatt Centric on Las Olas in downtown Fort Lauderdale, room 846. An excellent king room. We're right on the corner here. I told them to put us in a, a good room that had a nice view. So 846 is the room you want. <clears throat> I would say uh, at first impressions are this hotel is a 10 out of 10. I'll get to that in a little bit as I'm kind of showing you around. Everything is super clean, staff super friendly. Uh, there's some residences up above, so it's kind of fun when you're in the lobby waiting to check in. People are going, coming in and out with big dogs, small dogs, going across the street to the park, um, letting their dogs go to the restroom. Bar is really nice, very modern, very clean. Uh, the food looks really good, I haven't eaten there yet. Everything about this place is 
I'm f it's got to be, I don't know what year it was built, but it's got to be in the last year or two that this place has opened. So you got a safe right here. Got a utility mechanical closet there. This goes out onto a balcony. I'm not sure if we can get out there. I think we probably can because there's a chair and a little table and I just need to unlock it and push. Yeah. Um, but I won't do that right now. Coming around here, one thing I like is all of their lights are named. I mean, all their electrical switches. So we have like the drapes and I'll push that at the end and kind of finish the video with that because everything is electronic. So you come in, got a large bed, big room, lots of lighting. Again, you've got these little book lights by the side of the bed. They're kind of fun. Turn on and off as you open and close. We've got USB ports for plugging in your phone charger. We've got an extra set of wall controls there that control the lights. We have Sadie sitting in the chair, smiling after a long cruise, a very long cruise of four days. Uh, kind of looking in the back corner here, doing a slow pan. <laughs> I mean, the last place we stayed over by Sawgrass Mills uh, by the mall, it was a Hilton. It was a um, nice staff, but horrible place. And the pricing was almost the same. It's incredible, really. So again, kind of comes around here. Pretty sure this patio is just for this room, so I'm pretty sure we could walk out there if we wanted and walk all the way down and around. What's nice too is that's Los Olas Boulevard right here. Got all the, the shops and the restaurants and everything at night going on right down there. We're probably a five, 10 minute drive from Port Everglades. And we've got right here, there's a little green sign. That's a, um, I forgot what it's called, but they said it's like a public. So it's like an Albertsons if you're from the West Coast. Lots of uh, food options if you wanna go buy stuff, pre-made stuff, sodas, whatever, it's all there and you can get it less expensive. I haven't looked at the prices downstairs yet. So anyways, that's kind of the room. Um, I'll let you know if anything changes on the service, but so far everything has been tip top. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and push these drapes button now and just let you watch as the drapes close. And this will be a five minute video, so <laughs> I'm gonna turn it off now, but that's it. Thanks for watching. Finally back, Louis Bossy's, Fort Lauderdale. We love this place, don't we? Yes. I don't remember what we got last time. Is that what we got? And that was it? And it was still that good. Uh, all right, better repeat the same thing. All right, so we got the Caprese. Yum yum. This is winter time in Florida. You don't want to go on to that? We can wait to get started. We've got one meatball, they're good size. We've already taken a bite out of it. What do you think of the meatballs? Good. Meatballs are really good. Um, they are four or five dollars each, so he bought one. Thinking maybe they were a little bigger, so I think that surprised him a little bit. But yeah. it looks really good with the cheese mozzarella on top. And I've already taken a bite of this, and that broccoli parmesan garlic is delicious. burgers on the menu. I don't see burgers. Me neither. That sounded good. They have a, um, a dress code too. Interesting. Let's see. They got truffle fries though. Those are good. Yellow. So we were just at the restaurant Yellow and they 
apparently just remodeled, changed their menu, and there's no longer burgers, and that's kind of what we were feeling. Otherwise, it's all fish. So we went on an adventure, and we found this place. Royal 350. Royal 350. Right across the street. They just remodeled as well. Everybody seems to be remodeling. The place across the street's remodeling now, too. So, anyways, we will see how this goes. They only have um, the menus online. So we should see. Well, they have that one on the outside, too. Yeah, look at this. Look at this one, the good morning. It's a little more our scene. A little bit quieter, I think. The other place was pretty noisy. Oh, yeah, that one sounds good. Is that the one you're wanting? Yeah. Okay. Let's give that a shot, then. <laughs> Thanks for being a trooper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, back in room 846, like I said, King Suite earlier today. Gotta adjust my gimbal here just a little bit. Hello. So, um, 846, if you're gonna stay in the Hyatt and get a king room, that is definitely the room you want to get. I, upon further discovery, I realized that not all balconies are created equal and some aren't created at all. So. Pretty windy, I got my mic today, so we'll see how that works. But look, first off, you have this patio right here, okay? Interestingly enough, if you walk over to the hallway, you can see all the way down the hallway, there's our door. <laughs> kind of an interesting, weird setup. So another interesting little thing here is not a single floor above us has this. So we are the only room in the hotel that has this balcony, the way that we have it set up here. And it goes all the way down. You can see the marina over there. If I walk over here, um, part of it, big private yacht right over there. Coming around here, um, you get a good, a good view of um, Los Olas, and I'll show you that in a second. I'm gonna peer this over the edge real fast, and you can see below us, They've got um, a Ferrari park there that's right in front of Eddie's Seafood or whatever. So also, again, we have this little walk right in front of ours. And if you'll notice, nobody else has it. So we're gonna just kind of walk down here. I'm gonna show you down. I mean, it's a super skinny walk. I really hate heights, so this is super annoying. But from this side of the patio, I did notice people through these trees here have little patios through these little bushes here they've got patios but we have the best and um, I didn't pay any more for this room it was just a standard king room and I just told the lady to give me the best king room she had and she said I got you so anyways hope you guys have enjoyed learning some things looks like that guy just robbed someone and is running away don't mind him and um, you can sit up here all night, people blast music, people race their cars, it's really loud out here, but it's kind of fun. So anyways, room 846, that's the one you want. Thanks for watching.